It's Mother Art School. And we're going to start drawing very soon. So, where were we, kiddo? Dad. Yeah. T today. You guys introduce we, yourself. Right. Well, yeah. You introduce Mother okay. Art School with Steve Ellis. But I am not <laughs> Steve Ellis. You're not Steve Ellis? Who no. Are you? I am his daughter slash assistant. And drawing partner. My drawing partner. Uh, Luna Ellis. My criminal in crime. This is me. I'm Steve Ellis. Coming in upside down, kind of. <laughs> and uh, we're going to draw an evil queen. So I think what we're talking about is an evil queen, kind of like... Here, what? Guys, here's a better view of Steve Ellis. Here, here am I. Here am I. Hi, I'm Steve Ellis. And Luna and I are going to draw today. And today I think what we're going to draw is an evil queen like someone you might see in, an, in a Disney movie or a, a villainous character like that. What do you guys think of that? This will be fun. So this is the kind of queen that maybe, I don't know, sneaks around and has like a an apple that she gives to someone that maybe makes them fall asleep. What do you think, Luna? Well, no, it's not copyrighted because it's a fairy tale character. What? No, it's an ancient no, but fairy tale. But, they, but Disney did. Disney did do it, but they don't own the evil queen. They own their character, but they don't own the evil queen. So because they don't own it, and because I just had to sharpen my pencils, because no one else owns it, we can draw it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, here you go. Here's your pencil. Oh, okay. And you can draw stuff at home that you that other people own, but I, I don't want to do it on the show right now because I'm not sure how it'll work. So Probably so we're gonna we're gonna go back to oh so anyway, I'm a I'm an artist. I do comic books. I do Magic the Gathering, and I do. You just do free, freelance. Freelance art. I've done uh, books called one called The Only Living Boy, and another one called The Only Living Girl, and they are both uh, available. You can read them online, and at OnlyLivingBoy.com, and Only Living Girl is at BottleLightning.com. And uh, you can go and check out our stuff there. Luna, please come back because I don't want you touching that because then it does that thing with the speaker. I'm not. So, you know what the evil queen I'm going to draw is, Luna? I'm going to teach everyone how to draw the thorned queen. The thorned queen from Only Living Boy. So, here we go. First of all, I'm going to go get my reference because she is an evil queen. But I have and to make sure I get all the And she does own there. the copyright. And I own the copyright to her. So she's going to be our evil queen of the day. Ah, uh, there we go. I found the ting. The eraser ting. <gasps> Look here. You found the ting. I found the ting, the eraser ting. And here is. The eraser is just the, so, the ting. This is the only living boy. This is the ting. And the character we're going to draw is really fun. And I like her because she is a total evil queen. And I might change her a little bit to make her more fun to draw. I don't know. Where is she? I think it's... Uh, in She's in here somewhere. I don't know. She's in this book somewhere. Is that it? So, oh yeah, here she is. So, when I designed this character, I wanted her to be a kind of a classic villain. Classic monster kind of villain. So, there she is. So, let's go. Let's draw. Right. Let's draw the Thorned Queen. All right. What? Don't say. I don't. I know who she is. It's a secret. Okay, so. I mean, unless you guys have read it. But so here we go. Wait. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw. I have lots of paper from. Germany. Oh, yeah, if you need a new piece of paper, just reach under there and grab the comic book paper. So we're going to go back to our basic shapes again, right? And remember, we have circles or spheres, right? Which we draw around the objects to make them spheres. This one? Yeah, that works. We have. Cylinders, okay, which we again we draw around them to make them cylinders. I'm gonna zoom in here, and we have cones, although as I like to call them, flattened cones like this. Yes. We have flattened cones, and then we have mostly used for snout shapes. Pointy cones like this. Okay. The flattened and then are used for snout shapes. We have cubes, which we don't really use a lot of cubes, do we? No. 
We use I mean, them for hands and feet, but... That's true. We do sometimes, but we don't really use them a lot. So those are our basic shapes. Sphere, cylinder. Oh, and there's also an ellipse. Oh, yeah. We use that a lot. An ellipse is what you use in all of these forms to make them look three-dimensional. Okay? So that's the ellipse. Now, let's get down to business. So here, I think we need to have her looking really threatening and menacing. What do you think? So I think we're going to put her head here. So the way we're going to start her head, you're going to try to start with this? We're going to draw a sphere. We haven't really done a person before, so I'm going to draw a sphere. Okay, like that. And then... You don't need it to be perfect. No, you don't need it to be perfect. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to see how we do these lines around it. I'm going to do a line around like that. Watch what I'm doing, Luna. And a line down like this. And I'm drawing around the object so that it looks like I'm drawing behind the sphere. Okay? So we're going to draw that. Got it? And then, more or, less. more or less, I'm going to cut the edge of the sphere off like this. We're going to cut it off like that, and we're going to cut it off over here too. So we're just going to fill these areas a little bit. So we're going to make it more like this. So it's got, it's kind of a sphere with flat sides. Okay? And then from there, you got it? Yeah, there you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break this into three lines, four lines. We're going to go one. We're going to draw a line from the top of that circle that, that uh, what's it called? That ellipse on the side around the top to meet the ellipse on the other side. I'm going to draw a line from the middle of that ellipse on the side. And we're going to bring that around. I'm going to draw a line from the bottom of the ellipse on the side, and we're going to bring that around like this. Okay? See that? One, two, three. So from the middle of the ellipse and the bottom of the ellipse, there you go. So now then what we're going to do is we're going to draw straight down, well, at a curve from here. Um, and what? Penelope Power app said... You are glitching a lot, and it makes and it's making it hard to hear part of what you're saying. Can you oh, try no. to fix that? I don't know how to fix the glitching because it's not glitching on our end. No, but it's um, probably because we can't see it. Maybe if I go into the video. Book, shut right? off OBS. See oh. if maybe that helps. Okay. Because I think OBS might take up too much memory. Wait, you're recording on this. Right. Just stop it. Stop it and shut it off. Does, is, it, is it fixed? Can you can you tell us if it's fixed, Penelope? Um, go on with your lesson. Okay. So we now have this line we're going to draw down here like that. And then we're going to draw a... a fl what we're going to do is we're going to go from... We're going to measure this thing here. This, this distance here and that distance, and they should be the same. And then we'll do a third distance here. They should all be about the same. This one a little bit bigger. And we'll go down and draw a line across there. Now, that's the chin. That's the bottom of the nose. That's the eyes. And that's the hairline right here. And now what we're going to do, now what we're going to do is we're going to draw from this side to the chin. And we're going to draw like that's where the ear is going to be. And we'll draw in like this. Draw the other side of the chin. Okay? I'm going to try and do this simple, but I'm realizing I'm probably going to make it harder than I have to. Because <laughs> that's who I am. Sorry about that. So now, from this spot right here. Yeah, you got it? Remember, keep your drawing light, too, so. So now from this spot here, I'm going to draw down and in like this. I'm going to do a big curve. Uh, Penelope Bauer said it's fixed for at least now. Okay. Cool. And then from about halfway through the chin, I'm going to do another curved line like that. Okay. 
Otherwise, her neck will be too fat. Now, this is the bottom of her nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape like this. All right, it's kind of like a box that's that wider bad. at the bottom and smaller at the top. So I'll erase this. I'll draw the box wider at the bottom, smaller at the top. Okay. See that? And then I'm going to draw around and we're going to draw sunglasses on the face. Sunglasses? Yep, we're going to draw sunglasses. So there's two sunglasses. See them? So she's got that, sunglasses. That, that's strange. You can make them nice and big sunglasses if you want. Give them sunglasses. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then you don't have to, but no, you need the sunglasses. Trust me, you need the sunglasses. And then from this line here at the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin, I'm going to draw another line right between those. Okay. So right down there. There you go. And now. Now we're going to draw a triangle here, another triangle there. Watch it. Okay, and we're going to draw an ellipse right there. See what I just drew? Triangle, triangle, ellipse. Got it? Okay, now. <laughs> I look at those. Yeah, I'm going to connect those to the edges. That's hilarious. All right, and then in the middle of these sunglasses, I'm going to draw a triangle that has a curved side. So this side is curved, and then the triangle like that. And then over here, we're going to draw another triangle. Can you guess what that is, Luna? The eyes? Yeah, the, the eyes, right. And now we can get rid of some of these other lines. Oh, my God. Well, the sunglasses should be curved on top, not flat on top, because the sunglasses are oh, the eye sockets. Why did you say they're sunglasses? Well, because I didn't think you were actually going to draw, like, the earpieces and stuff. <laughs> so here, we have the upper part of the this sunglass shape here, which is the inside it where the eyebrow would sit now she's gonna have really really pointy eyebrows so they go from here all the way up like this if you guys have any questions just tell us yeah just ask and then we're going to draw another one here Don't be all scared. the way up like that don't be scared to get noticed nope don't be scared to get noticed and then i can fix this a little bit to make that go like that so now we've got her looking really really menacing Kind of with our evil witchy eyebrows, and then we can actually, kind of erase like, the sunglasses. It kind of actually looks like they're part of the sunglasses. Yeah, they kind of are. You, if you a normal person, you would just draw the the eyebrow on the sunglasses. But because she's a a witch, and she has really evil, crazy eyebrows, they go up higher. And now we're gonna make her nose kind of point. So we'll we've got that we had that kind of cut off triangle this shape. And now we're going to draw like this. We're going to draw two two kind of half circle shapes for the nostrils. And we'll draw underneath like that. Okay? Can you do that? For the nose? You drew the nose a little small, so you might want to make it a little bit bigger. Well, you told me to do it like... Well, okay. So now I'm going to erase the sunglasses out, at least most of them. I'm going to leave it here. Kind of looks like a dog. And leave it there. I mean, well, not really. And then I'm going to erase these lines that are making up the face. So I should have. Dad. Yeah. Nice. That looks good. It looks like a dog nose. You're doing fine. It's because it's tilted back. And then we're going to draw here like this, Luna. So if you draw this line here, it won't feel like a dog nose anymore. Okay? Yeah. And curve it so that it meets up right with the eye the eyebrow. So we draw from the tip of the nose and curve it so it becomes her eyebrow. Okay, so that's all one line. Doop, like that. And then you can connect the bottom of the nose to that too and you get this. See, Luna? You go up and around like that. Faces. Well, we're not doing masks this time. 
Now we've got the eyes. Let's see what she, come on back. Let's give her crazy long evil eyelashes. So those are just going to be triangles. We'll put them out like this. Okay. And right now she kind of looks like she's smiling. So I think we're going to turn her mouth down a little. So we'll go like this. It looks like she's crying. My looks like she's crying. Okay. Well, if you turn the tips of the mouth down, it'll look like she's angry. And then you can draw these lines here to show where her chin sticks out. She does look like she's crying. That's also because I put teardrops in there. Oh, yeah, that's true. Now, in here, I can put my eyes looking down at us like, ooh, I am so evil. You can put a half circle in each triangle, and then I can put a little black dot in the middle. Like that. Can you do that? You didn't get your eyelashes in and then put the... Eyeballs in? I got my eyelashes in. Okay. So now we draw this line back up the center of the head and we find the center of the head there. And now we're going to draw around here to the cheekbone. Like this. And we'll draw around here to this here the cheekbone which is that there so we'll draw to here and then from here we're going to erase that line and draw it in like that okay see that now so has she eaten much because <laughs> she's skinny her face is skinny dad so now we're going to draw a half circle I'm here worried. well she's evil she's supposed to look bony so she's got a, we're gonna draw a half she, circle there is she? and then we're gonna draw that there like a making kind of two triangle shapes and then we'll draw a big arc like this and we'll make the one on this side smaller than the one on that side and then we come down to the back to the side of the head like this Wait, Dad, you made up the thorns to clean. Why couldn't you do it for memory? Because it's been a long time since I drew her. And I'm kind of ma I'm kind of doing this one from memory. Now, I'm gonna from her from right about here and around, I'm going to draw a big arc here. Got it? No, you don't. No. Oh, you didn't even get the horns in. No, I didn't. Okay. So, sorry. Well, I'll slow down for you, honey. If you need me to slow down. There you go. Got it. So now. I'm worried about her. I'm going to erase all of this extra stuff here. So that all we have is that. Okay. Now, oh my god, this eye looks like weird. It looks actually really cool, Luna. No, not this eye, that eye. Ah, uh, okay. Just try to draw the same thing and the opposite on the other side. I'm trying to. Okay. So now, from here, I'm going to draw up and down like this. And then I'm going to do reverse of that over here like that. I'm sorry if I'm making fun of your character. You, no, you're not. You're doing great. And then we're going to draw another line that kind of do the same thing here. Guys, ask questions whenever and you can. Those will cross. That's the true thing about being an artist. Is what? Asking questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Asking questions is a good thing. And learning and discovering. Yep. So this is a cylinder. Right? So we want to think about that as a cylinder. A little bit. Yep. In and we also want to think of these as cones, so you can draw stripes on these up like this. They're not really stripes, but they're kind of ridges on the on the horns that go up like this. This isn't really the Thorned Queen. I don't know what character it is, but I'm just making it up as I go. Now we can. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do that when you're yep. an artist. Somewhere around here and somewhere around there. I'm going to draw 
a line in like this and a line like this. Okay. And then I don't have enough. You enough. went you went straight down. Go in like this. Curved in. All right? I don't have enough paper. No, we're not gonna do a full figure. We're just gonna do the top. And then I'm gonna throw right about here. See I'm gonna put it's two twenty two. A circle right there. That it's two twenty two. Okay, it's two twenty two. So put another circle right there. What does that mean that's two twenty two? We still have a lot of time? Yeah. Am I going too fast? Probably. I'll slow down. Probably. So let's go back around this. So we, we put this cone here, we put that cone there. These are gonna be cones as well. And basically we make them cones by drawing over them and around them. And then we do a half circle around the head like that, and then little half circles here. And then we're drawing kind of very small sections of circles like this. And we're going to draw a sphere there. Okay. Now, you got it? Looking yeah. good, Luna. Looking good. Now, from here, what are you doing? Is that a staff? Uh, yeah. No, okay. Yeah, no. So now from here, watch this, Luna. This is a tricky one. Watch this. We're going to draw a triangle on that sphere. Okay? See what I did, Luna? Draw a triangle on that sphere. Yeah, on the bottom of it. A cone? No, a triangle. See? Okay, and then we're going to draw That's more of a, cone. a long thin triangle like that there okay and then watch this Linda. this is the tricky part then we're going to draw a flat triangle like this so it's got a curved bottom and a curved top and then it's going to go so the shape is actually i don't even know if it's triangle it's four-sided but like that okay you're not following along. And I then am. from here, we're going to draw, you got that part? Yeah. We're going to draw back like this, out and back. And then we're going to draw another mm -hmm. triangle here. Well, I not a triangle, but a pointy, pointy shape there. I don't there. exactly have the best view. Oh, okay. Here, see? You're going to have to move that back. I will. You got it. Don't forget the finger, the, the first finger. Now, from here, I'm going to draw a line what? going to there. What? What? Okay. And we're going to draw another line up here that goes to here. About as equally as long. And then we're going to make that into a tube like this. Okay, and then we're going to bring this to that same point. Okay? Oh my God. And then, what? E that looks cool. From here, we're going to go down, and we're going to create a triangle there, and then another triangle here. Okay? I don't have exactly enough. Okay, you can you can just let it cut off though. And then over here I'm gonna draw another triangle. Okay. Now the next step is we're gonna get rid of this line here and that line there. And we're gonna do an overlap right here. So that this line overlaps this shape there. And then we can create a curve here. And that's to show that our cloak is rounded. And then we can put a dark triangle in here and shade it in. Now the hand is a little bit weird. So I think I might change the hand a little bit because it's at a weird angle and I don't like that. It's uncomfortable. So 
I'm going to change the hand to Tad because I was going to do it a different way and now I'm doing it this way. So we're going to get rid of the hand. We're going to keep the thumb where it was. And we're going to draw this going this way. So we're going to make this shape, but now it's going to be more like that. And then we're going to do that triangle here and then a wider triangle there. Okay. Now we can erase this and turn these into fingers. And the way to turn them into fingers is to just go one, two, and now you've got one, two, three, four, five fingers. And she's holding an orb. I think maybe should that be a really big apple or like a like a, uh, a crystal ball? What do you think? I think it looks like a crystal ball. What do you think? I think it looks like a crystal ball. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do some swirlies in the crystal ball. So let's draw some swirlies in here. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Bubble, bubble. And then we can draw bubble. a triangle here and darken that in. Because that makes her look evil. I don't know why. Triangles kind of look like horns, and so they make things look kind of evil. And then we can do another triangle here. We'll fill that in black. And then under her chin, we'll do another one there. But I'll be, today, are you going to ask if we can do inking? Have I? Please let me know if I've lost people, because if I have, I want to know so oh, I can no, make these you easier. See it? You can't oh, see it. Adam Penelope. Uh, asked to see my drawing. Oh, and oh. And Penelope said, show the bottom, please. Oh, the bottom? How's that? Yep. Um, actually, I don't know. Uh, well, can you see it on the screen? Can you see my finger? Yeah. Okay. No, wait, wait. This oh. one? Can you see that finger on the screen? Nope. Hmm. Now? Okay. But now you can't see the head, can you? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry about that. There's that triangle there that I was telling you about, and then a little triangle here. Okay. And then I was going to draw another triangle out here. And then... A curved triangle and a small curved triangle there. And that's her other hand. And we're just going to let that go to dark. And so there's our evil queen. What else should we do to her, huh, Luna? I don't know. Well, should we ink her? Say yes if you want it to be eight. I think Penelope always wants it to be in it. Just gotta see. I think I may have gone a little too fast today. I apologize if that's true. But if you guys give me comments and let me know, that way I can I can make it better. I don't want to go too fast and lose you guys. Has anyone responded? Uh, not yet. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. uh what? No, I, I had to scroll down. Okay. And guess what? Guess what? what? Guess what I saw? What'd you see? Something from the bower. Oh, what'd she say? Can you ink? Can we ink today? Yeah, we can ink today, as long as you got the drawing done. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to draw, I'm going to go back and draw this, redraw these lines. So remember, this is a triangle. And another triangle there. Triangle, another triangle there, and a half circle with a little half circle inside of it. And then we're going to draw the eyebrow, which actually is kind of a triangle shape. And we're going to go like that. And then I'll do the same on this side. So it goes around, up, 
and down. And then I'm going to trace the nostrils. But I can leave a lot of lines out. Yes. Needable thing. I know. That's not an eraser. Really? Yeah, nicely for you to try. I'm doing a class. And then we have the nostrils. Yeah. And then we have, I'm going to put those lines in just to make her look a little angry. And then I'm going to draw the mouth like this. Down, up, down, up, down, and around. And I'll do the same over here. We'll go around, down, make a little triangle, and then back down and around. And then under here, I'm going to connect this to there. And then we can make this line a little bit darker under there. Are you going to ink yours? No? Okay. Now from here, this is a kind of a triangle with curved, a lot of curves and a curved side over there. Actually a Star Trek symbol on its side. We'll draw there, and around, there. I'm worried for her. And around to the point in the middle there. She's very, very thin cheeks. She's very, very skinny, yes. And then I'm going to recreate those necklines. And I'll recreate the horns and the costume lines. The dog's going to want to go out very soon. Probably. If she walks around my studio sniffing, I know she needs to go out. Uh, so Kimberly Lou said, Hero de los muertos. Hero of the dead. Hero of a the hero dead. A hero I made from Mexico. Sometimes forgets that she is sometimes in a place that does not know Spanish. So she accidentally speaks it. She is a great parkourist and it is based off the day of, oh, day of the dead. Her real name is Alice. Alice? Alice. A-L-I-S-S. Help me, cool. did you just yell? So now, is that what she's drawing right now? Yep. I'll, actually, I'm not sure. She just said that. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? So I'm just going to basically choose which lines I'm keeping and getting rid of lines I don't want. And so a lot of that is just deciding what I want to keep, what, I, what, what shows me what I need to see in the drawing and what doesn't. So if I don't need to see the structure of the figure, I'll erase that. I just want to see the outsides. And I'll often do these overlaps just to make. Ah, Kimberly Lou said yes. I believe she's drawing it. Wow. Puppy, after the class, I'm going to get to you, okay? So we go out and up. And then we'll draw the swirly sphere in her hand. Oh, yeah, Penelope just said, yay, in all caps. Yay for inking? Yeah. <laughs> In all caps, Dad. Okay. So basically, I'm just recreating what I've done. And I'm paying attention to where I want to have thicker lines and where I don't. So when I want thicker lines, I put them where things are going to be folded over. So like where the arm meets the body, I'm going to put a thicker line. Where the forearm meets the lower arm, I'm going to put a thicker line. Where the ball meets the hand, I'm going to put a thicker line. And then you can just fill in with black around it. So I'm going to get my big Sharpie in, or my big marker in, and I'm going to Steal that off of Fill this in? Yes, it is. How dare you? Well, it is technically my equipment. 
So I'm going to fill that in dark. I'm going to fill this in dark. And I'll fill that in dark. And then, let's see. What else do we need, Luna? We need our box, right? We have frame. Our frame. So let's put the frame in. Up. Across. Down. And then I'm going to sign it right there. And as usual, I sign it Steve. You can sign it your own name. And there yeah, you go. You have to say you have to sign it your own name. Yeah, you probably should sign it your own name. Don't say should. Say so what time is it? Uh, three, two, thirty-eight. Okay. So does anyone have any questions? And I can answer them while we're drawing while i'm drawing i'd love to answer any questions you guys have any questions you have about drawing about different drawing creatures you want to draw anything i'm assuming you guys are still drawing but if you have any if you have any thoughts or questions or ideas or things you want to see please let me know so i can make this class the most fun possible we have a wheel of names. We'll add whatever yep. your suggestion is. And if it's not yep. copyrighted, we'll add it to the wheel. Yep. The, the wheel of names today said Evil Queen, and that's what we ended up with. Yep. So any questions, guys? Not appearing yet. I'll give it a couple minutes. Hero de los I want to see this Hero de los Muertos. Yes. Ooh, can we lose? Asked if we can try a siren next. A siren. Now, what's the difference between a siren and a mermaid? I don't know. Yeah, I kind of think the sirens are mermaids, right? I mean, we don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. Sirens are mermaids that sing songs and cause Odysseus to crash against the shores of, or to, to attempt to crash against the shores of I an island. Have, I don't think sirens have the extra fins. Extra fins? Yeah. I think maybe we just need to look up siren versus mermaid. What's the difference? So anyway, since no one seems to have any questions, check again, Luna. I think we're good. Uh, can we do a pumpkin head person next? A and pumpkin head Luna, person? A pumpkin head person. Yeah, put that on our list. And show Luna's drawing. And bye. Okay, here's Luna's bye. drawing. She drew a whole outfit set for the character and the face and the hand and everything. And I can't wait to see everyone else's drawings. I'm sure they're going to be great. So I'm really excited. So this is not the character that I created for Only Living Boy, but it's kind of kind of similar. <laughs> halfway between my character and Maleficent and that's fine so anyway I hope you have a great day and if you if you're hard today let me know so I can adjust for tomorrow okay thanks guys have a great day Wait. Uh, what's yeah. okay what Harry Bauer said wow uh, well anyways goodbye people